Hello children, good morning. Hope all are doing good and safe at your home. Stay home, stay safe. Today we are going to see the very first unit of our curriculum and it is our environment. Our environment. In this lesson we are going to learn about forest, plain, hill, pond, river, and C. Let us move on to the lesson. Our earth has different landforms and water bodies like forest, plains, mountains, hills, deserts, rivers and seas. There was a big celebration in school for the National Children's Science Congress. Everybody was excited. Students had come from many schools from all over India. They introduced themselves and spoke about the places they had come from. So here, in a school, they were celebrating National Children's Science Congress. And everybody participated was so excited about the day. Students, they came from many places of India. They introduced themselves and spoke about their places they come from. Now let us see what they spoke about. First comes Daniel. Daniel said, I live near a forest. A forest has large number of trees. The ground is covered with bushes and grass. Streams and ponds also found in the forest. It is home to many animals like Elephants, tigers, deer, lions, bears and snakes. Birds like peacocks, doves, sparrows, parrots and woodpeckers live there. You can hear the different sounds of animals. I like the forest. It is cool and green. So Daniel is living near a forest. The forest has large number of trees and the floor of the forest is covered with bushes and grass. Streams and ponds are also found in the forest. There are so many animals and birds we can found in a forest. The forest looks so cool and green. Forests are useful to us in many ways. We get wood, honey, fruits, rubber and many other things from forest. Now comes Tarun. Tarun said, I come from a farming family. We live in the plains. A plain is a flat land. It is warmer than the hills. Plains are important for growing crops. Without growing crops, how can we get our food? So, Tarun is from a farming family. He lives in plains. A plain is a flat land. A plain is a flat land. It is warmer than the hills. Hills are with a plain. Plants are important for growing crops. Without growing crops, how can we get our food? Can we? No. Without, without growing crops, we cannot get our food. Farms get water from rain, lakes, ponds and wells. We find many animals like cows, goats, sheep, bullocks, buffaloes, and many kinds of birds there. I like to watch the birds. So for the farms, they are getting water from rains, rivers, lakes, ponds and wells. We can find many animals in the farms, right? They are cows, goats, sheep, bullocks, buffalo and many kinds of birds. Now comes Kamakshi. Kamakshi said, I live in the hills. A hill is like a mountain but not so high. Hills are generally green and beautiful. It is also much cooler than the plains. 
people visit the hill stations especially in summer now kamakshi said that she is from hills a hill is like a mountain but not so high as a mountain it looks so green and beautiful and it is cooler than a plain so people visit hill station in summer season now look at this picture this hill looks as if steps have been made on it crops are grown in step forms also called as terrace forms tea and coffee are grown on some hills udakamandalam uti is called the queen and kodikanal is called the princess of hill stations in tamil nadu our state animal the nilgiri thar is found in nilgiri mountains now comes sulaiman sulaiman said i would like to speak about the pond in my village he is willing to speak about the pond in his village okay a pond is a place where water collects it gets filled by rain fishes insects snakes frogs crabs and turtles live in a pond flowers like water lily and lotus are also found in ponds a lake is bigger than a pond lake ingirathu pond vida konjam perusaga irukum okay now comes sultana sultana said i live near a river i love to watch the river flowing it starts journey on a mountain follows a path and finally flows into the sea now sultana is saying that she lives near a river avaru avaru river pakkathula vaandittirukka and she loves to see the river flowing it starts a journey on a mountain and follows a path and finally flows into a sea we use river water in many ways because of this in olden days people lived near rivers many kinds of fishes crabs and birds live in and around the river sometimes boat races are also held in the river my brothers like to participate in boat races what sultana is saying she loves to see the flow of a river and she said that the river is flowing from a mountain and follows its path and finally flows into a sea we use river in many ways because of that olden days people lived near a river many kinds of fishes crabs and birds also live in and around the river sometimes boat races also held in the river okay now comes gopal gopal said i belong to a family of fisher folk we live near the sea a yeah, sea is a larger water body sea water is salty we get salt from the sea plants fishes turtles prawns dolphins and crabs live in the sea we go fishing in the sea using fishing boats called catamarans and fishing nets now mevaram and kamala said that they were coming from a desert we come from a desert area a desert is a hot and sandy place there are hills of sand called sand dunes cactus plants grow in the desert since they need very little water camels are used for traveling in the desert the camel is called the ship of the desert since we have very little water we use it carefully now all the students were happy to know about each other's home and surroundings they became aware that they were a part of a nature they took a pledge to care for the environment and the natural life around them shall we also take such a pledge yes we should not pollute the environment we should take care of the environment 
hope all enjoyed this lesson thank you